So far away, Lucas, what is your favourite alias in the Metal Gear franchise? Uh, maybe like Punish Snake. That sounds pretty fucking cool. Punish Snake's pretty fucking good. So far away, Lucas, for the folks at home, we'd like to just clarify what the topic of today's Wiki Weekends is. Yes, so we are going to be talking about Naked Snake. Yes, the progenitor of the Snake line. We're referring specifically to the Metal Gear Wiki, a link to which you can find below. And we'll start, as we often do at the beginning, some biographical information about Mr. Naked Snake, a.k.a. Big Boss. We have here, real name, John. And that's it, that's all you know. I like it. Also known as Jack. Well, off to a flying start here. <laughs> so his name is John, also known as Jack, also known as, and if folks at home hear your band names, or your porn names if you prefer, Naked Snake, Vic Boss, Ishmael, The Legendary Soldier, The Legendary Mercenary, Salah Hadeen, The Man Who Sold the World. God, I love David Bowie. Nationality, American and then some. Born 1935, died 2014, age 79, in the Arlington, Arlington, Virginia, United States. I think he dies in the cemetery, doesn't he? And just before this video started, Lucas, you clarified that you're not all too familiar with Metal Gear lore, and you're not sure who's the boss, who's the big boss, and you get mixed up sometimes. Um, the-, the last thing is, I've played uh, three through five in mm-hmm. terms of Metal Gear Solid games. But yeah, just... Knowing which version of Snake is like Solid Snake, Big Boss, like Punish Snake, Venom Snake, Solid Snake, Liquid Snake, Naked yeah. Snake. There's so many snakes. And, and a lot of them are just the same character um, by a different name. So the article here has got you covered, Luke. It says this article is about the legendary soldier, Big Boss. You may be looking for his mentor, The Boss, or his phantom, Venom Snake. Yeah, so we have here a quote from Big Boss, and it is, We have no nation, no philosophy, no ideology. We go where we are needed, fighting not for country, not for government, but for ourselves. We need no reason to fight. We fight because we are needed. We will be the deterrent for those with no other recourse. We are soldiers without borders. Our purpose is defined by the era in which we live. So he's basically like, I like fighting. I love war. I love combat. (laughs) I fucking love being a soldier, but I also hate it. And then... Big Boss, real name John, also known as Jack, and formerly known as Naked Snake, Vic Boss, Ishmael, Salahuddin, or simply Snake, was a renowned Special Forces operative and mercenary commander. He founded the US Army Special Forces unit Foxhound. Along with the mercenary company um, Militaris San Frontieres, I apologise if I didn't pronounce that correctly, and was one of the founding members of the Patriots. Oh god, I hate Metal Gear story so much because it's always just the Patriots. Oh god, yeah. Like, it's, there's never a game where it's not the Patriots, and I hate that they pretend it's not. It's like, oh, no, I wonder who's behind it. It's the Patriots. Is it like the Lalelu Lalo? The Lalelu Lalo. Fuck it. I can't remember that, but not which snake is which. Big Boss later established the military states of Outer Heaven and Zanzibar Land as bases for his companies in order to realise his ambitions of creating a nation for soldiers. Uh, considered by some as the greatest warrior of the 20th century, he earned such monikers as the legendary soldier the leg- and the legendary mercenary, feared in combat by both friend and foe as a hero and as a madman. <laughs> and I think that more I think just sums up Big Boss. Like, he is the greatest soldier who ever lived. And I just love when he's talking on his codec and people are giving him shit about how difficult his mission is. Like, I'm the greatest soldier who ever lived. Yeah, that's the thing is, if I'm not going to be able to do it, have you got anyone else to try? Exactly. And then we have here just a little bit of extra. During the Cold War, Big Boss was an apprentice to The Boss, the so-called mother of special forces, who we've covered in another video, and later served as a Black Ops field agent for the CIA's Fox unit under Major Zero. Having his genetic code used as part of a government project, um, Leon Font Terrible, Big Boss was the genetic father of Solid Snake and his subordinate and later nemesis. Uh, so what they did is, because he was the greatest soldier who ever lived, they're like, well, he's going to die. And even if he's not going to die, he's going to get old. So what they do is they just, like, take his jizz and just clone him. And that's out where Solid Snake comes from and Liquid Snake and then Solidius. And then you've got the Genome Soldiers. Oh, God. Um, who were, like, the enemies from the first game. And one of the things I love about that is um, to explain away their shitty vision cones, they just say that the cloning process ruined their eyes. And then they put them as guards on patrol. In the snow. Also, I forgot, uh, there was more on the biographical information section, but I didn't click the read more bit. 
So let's just, okay. let's just quickly cover that because there's some, some fun stuff here. Physical description, eyes blue, later brown, hair color brown, later white. So his eyes and hair change color. <laughs> also height, 180 centimeters in 1999, 192 centimeters in 2005. So he somehow grew 12 centimeters when he was like 65 years old. Notable family, the boss, his mother figure, so that's not his family, Eva, his lover, Solid Snake, his clone, Liquid Snake, his clone, Solidia Snake, his clone, Venom Snake, his body double, and the gene therapy subjects who are his progeny. Uh, so there you go, Luca. Just to clarify, he has three sons, but they're his clones, and I, you know, Metal Gear just fucking goes places. And we're not going to cover his biography because that covers every single Metal Gear game. And considering those games are now having three and a half hour long cutscenes, let's not do that, shall we? We'll go straight to code names and aliases, because let's get some band names, shall we, folks? Big Boss's former code name of Naked Snake was a reference to the on site procurement policy of Fox and to the stealthy nature of snakes. Except for the rattlesnake. That's like the least stealthy snake, isn't it? Yeah. It's a snake that announces its presence, it's the ballsiest of all snakes. Um, it was also partially in honour of the Cobra unit, which was founded and led by his mentor. During the Peace Walker incident, several of Big Boss's comrades often mistook or joked about the meaning behind the naked part of his codename, as if it were that Snake had not worn any clothes during the Virtuous mission. Thing is, though, you can do those games completely naked. You can either strip off yeah. from the waist and run around, and there's even a codec call where Sigin gives you shit for it, and he talks about how... Look, that's the worst possible camouflage. That's worse than wearing <laughs> the wrong camouflage because not only are you more visible, like you're losing body heat. And Snake responds, and I quote, but it feels good. <laughs> that's his defense. It feels good to run around with your shirt off. Huh. The title of Big Boss was awarded to Snake following Operation Snake Eater because he was regarded as a being above even the boss. <laughs> I love that! You can be above what it means to be a boss. Is this what it means to go further beyond being a boss? Uh, however, Snake disliked the title since he felt that he hadn't actually surpassed the boss and did not identify himself as such until 1974. Um, as such, many of his subordinates and comrades simply referred to him as um, Boss instead of Big Boss. Um, in 1984, Big Boss was known by the alias Ishmael, which was the nickname, or which was the name of the protagonist and the narrator of Moby Dick. Sniper Wolf referred to Big Boss as Salah Hadin, in reference to the prominent figure in Kurdish culture who led the Muslim opposition against the Christian Crusades in Levant. Yeah, I, lo I love Sniper Wolf so fucking much. Like, let's just talk about Metal Gear bosses and their names because Sniper Wolf is so fucking cool. Yeah. <laughs> She's just this super hot blonde lady with a sniper rifle. It's like, oh, why is she called Sniper Wolf? She's got a fucking wolf on her side. And in that game, there are wolves that attack you. And is a pro tip for anyone who maybe goes back and replays those games. Um, after you beat Sniper Wolf, if you pick up her hanky, wolves no longer attack you because you smell like her. So, Lucas, any code names in Metal Gear that stick out to you as being especially badass or um, band name worthy? I would be absolutely just hammered in the comments for not mentioning Psycho Mantis. <laughs> Psycho fucking Mantis! And then you got like Metal Gear Solid 4, you got like Laughing Octopus. Yeah. It's like, that's such a good code name. Like laughing, and then you got Raiden. Mr. Thunderbolt. Oh, God. That's his nickname. And I think he's called, like, The Coming Storm or something like that by some people. Which is fucking sick. Personality and traits. Big Boss had an innate desire for conflict, mostly because that was the only thing he truly knew, being exposed to combat from a young age. So he viewed subjects from a military perspective, such as using environmental landmarks to set traps and identifying other countries like France by their armed forces and national anthem. I like that. See, he's one of those dickheads, isn't he? One of those nerds who only um, uh, references stuff by his own interests. He was also sometimes compassionate and forgiving towards his friends and enemies. Forgiving Kazuhiro Miller for admitting that he was part of the cipher plot and forgiving Ocelot for blinding his right eye. Um, in addition, Big Boss disagreed with mercy killings. I feel like there was always another reason to live, as evidenced by his response to a man's request to put Cinco, uh, Chico out of his misery. During his use, he was also willing to sacrifice himself for his country, although his patriotism towards America came into serious question when he was forced to kill the boss. Oh, God. So fucking cool. Big Boss eventually becomes the bad guy, doesn't he? Yeah, he's the, like, the main overarching villain of the series. You kill him in the first game. Like, they're like the 2D game, and then it turns out that like, he comes back and he kill him again, which is the whole <laughs> reason for Metal Gear Solid V. Metal Gear Solid V, like, spoilers, you're not playing as Big Boss, you're playing as like a guy who's mentally tricked into becoming him via hypnosis and the only reason that game exists is to explain away why he dies twice 
<laughs> because Hideo Kojima didn't like the fact that he gets killed once in the first game, then you kill him again in like four or something. <sighs> oh, fuck it. Metal Gear. The cornea and lens of Big Boss's right eye was damaged and the eyeball itself ruptured due to a muzzle burn from Ocelot's revolver in Operation Snake Eater. God, that's so fucking brutal. Like that scene where he just gets shot in the eye. The worst scene, like that has to be the torture scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, which one? Because there's like five. <laughs> oh, no, the, the, the one where you have to mash out. Oh, yeah. Do you know the trick for that as well? If you just bring up your menu, you take no damage. Oh. Yeah, and Metal Gear Solid 3 anyway. So, uh, pro tips if you want to play Metal Gear Solid 3, just bring up your menu during that scene, you won't take any damage. Arguably, the person who gets it worse is Raiden, and I'm pretty sure that's how they pronounce it in the games. And this is one of those things that always ca- like throws me off, because in Mortal Kombat, he's called Raiden. Yeah. But it's Raiden in Metal Gear Solid, so I get those two mixed up and I use them interchange. So I apologise to all the people who bitch at me when I talk about Mortal Kombat for calling him Raiden. I played Metal Gear Solid more, but... Um, he gets captured by the Patriots and they remove um, the top half of his jaw and his skull and put it into a robot body. So um, <laughs> oh, Raiden God. in Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, the only human part of him left is the top half of his head. And even then, he gets his eye destroyed in a fight. Mm. So like, there is almost nothing of the original Raiden left. Everything is robot. He's like 3% human. <laughs> <It's not laughs> God. It's like just that great line from Robocop of um, if we laid out what's left of you on a table, there's barely enough to constitute a corpse. It's like, oh, that's so fucking brutal. Uh, in his later years, Big Boss was shown to be a wisecracker, such as asking whether a uniform Snake procured was a high school girl's uniform, uh, whether he was moving house after he located a cardboard box. Uh, he was fond of smoking cigars and would do so even when undertaking a sneaking mission, much to the chagrin of his commanding officers. <laughs> During the time of Operation Snake Eater, Naked Snake was a fan of dog sledding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because that's what he talks about in like a codec, because like, my dream is to be a dog sledder. Yeah. Big Boss did not like spy genre films, specifically James Bond, feeling that they didn't portray agent life realistically at all, to the point he, could not, he couldn't help but compare himself to Bond negatively, even when he knew it was fiction. Because of this, he once got into an argument with, his, um, with Major Zero, who was a big James Bond fan. Um, he also did not watch or follow up on pop culture movies. Yeah, because like, every time he talks to paramedics, like, have you seen Godzilla? He's like, what's Godzilla? It's like, you fucking kidding me, Snake? Uh, having a large appetite, Big Boss was willing to eat anything he could capture during his missions, um, sometimes not even caring if they were poisonous, as long as they at least tasted good. This caused yeah. paramedic to either scold him if the animal in question was not something to eat, or jokingly call him a cannibal, if he was eating something like snakes or jackfruit. I love that system in Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh, it's one of the best. I'm so annoyed they never brought it back. Mm-hmm. Like as well, like that system has so much depth to it. Uh, like every time you eat something, um, like Snake gets sick of it. If it's something nice, like if you make him eat something tasty over and over again, he'll get sick of it. By the same token, if he eats something he doesn't like, it will start to gradually restore more stamina as he gets used to the taste. Um, during his days as a CIA agent and mercenary, Big Boss indicated they held several beliefs in myths and the supernatural. He stated uh, that thinking about vampires gave him nightmares. For this reason, he would rather she didn't utter the name Dracula. Because <laughs> I think that's a, that's a quote where she, she mentions Dracula and he actively shudders at the thought of he's Dracula. He's just scared of Dracula. Like, this is a man who eats snakes. And he's the scared, greatest soldier of all time, Carl. Scared of Dracula. Big Boss revealed to Huey Emmerich that he believed in Santa Claus. <laughs> Going as far to argue for his existence. Santa Claus is real, Carl. He is. Despite his beliefs, there are some instances where he was unfamiliar with the supernatural. A notable example during Operation Snake Eater, regarding the zombie face paint, where he expressed unfamiliarity with the concept of zombies. And we'll end, as we often do, Lucas, on some trivia. And there's trivia for Big Boss in each game, but I think we're both mostly familiar with Metal Gear Solid 3. So should we end on that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. According to a voice casting sheet for Metal Gear Solid 3, Naked Snake's physical constitution was intended to be similar to that of Arnold Schwarzenegger in terms of bulk. It also said that Snake was going to be 6 foot 5. This was later dropped. Yeah, no shit. Imagine someone Arnold Schwarzenegger's size crawling through the undergrowth with a crocodile hat on. Um, shortly after Naked Snake told Paramedic that his real name was John Doe, she claimed that he was a real Captain Nemo. This is a reference to Aiko Otsuka, Naked Snake's Japanese voice actor, who previously provided the voice of Captain Nemo in Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water. I love that. When Eva attempts to kiss Naked Snake during their rendezvous at the mountaintop, he freezes up. The reason for this, oh I know this one, is the motion, capture, the motion capture actor wasn't familiar with acting out romance scenes because he was an action guy. 
Mm -hmm. So when the female motion capture actress went went into kissing me, she shit himself and didn't know what to do. <laughs> so they just left it in. Oh, I love that.